Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. Today's video is going to be a strategy of doing one of the hardest Mirage dungeons that is available right now. It is Cave of Shadows with the modifier of irritability, which means that when and the monsters have less than 40% health. Their attack is increased by 30%, making these monsters do a lot of damage, which can actually one-shot you. So that becomes a very big challenge for any healer because if you're dead, they can't heal you. So I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it, okay? How to do this mirage and get millions of gold worth of stuff from the rewards. Now, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. All right, and you'll be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on March 15, 2020. This video is actually, we're doing Mirage 15. I am actually strong enough to do like Mirage 21, 23, not a problem. However, I am helping out some of my guild members, and they... They are having a hard time. You will need, you will need to have two healers. All right. So if you don't have two healers, it will be very difficult. I have healed this before by myself when I was a healer. However, that does require you to have a goblin pet. If you have a goblin pet, that will save you many times. First of all, a goblin pet will block damage with its shield. And also, once you die, Goblin Pet will keep you alive for three more seconds and allow you to have time where you can heal yourself. So, uh, having two healers is also very good because at all times, one healer can be healing and another healer can be rezzing. Which is going to be very, very important for the very end of this video. Now, do uh, if this is your first Mirage, do remember that Mirages are only on the weekends. You have to do it uh, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Be sure to do it twice. You do need to do Floor 11 or above to have the best prizes. Above Floor 11, the higher the stage that you do, you get a higher chance of getting better prizes. We are doing Floor 15. It's very easy for me, except uh, this is because I have 500k CP. Now, the rest of the team, they're in the 300 something, 400s. This is the first boss. Now, the first boss is rather easy. You just have to dodge uh, some red cone shape attacks. He also has little red circle attacks. Also, he shoots blue balls out at you. Whenever he shoots the blue balls at you, you do have to run away. You can kite the blue balls. They don't actually hit you very quickly. So as long as you run away and continue to attack, the blue balls won't kill you. However, if you are DPS or if you are the healer, the blue balls will, will kill you. All right, so irritability is one of the worst modifiers that you can have on a on a mirage. This week's is irritability. the The bosses start to glow red. I mean, actually, all monsters glow red once they have forty percent health left, and they enrage, they get irritable, I guess. And what they will do is they will do thirty percent more damage. What happens is our last boss, the last boss of Cave of Shadows has an AOE attack which has three waves it does three waves of damage which will indeed take down your health very quickly but once it hits 40% HP it will probably one shot you and uh, if you only have one cleric they won't be able to heal you so do try to do try to bring two healers if possible or one very strong healer also, you will need to buy some tranquilizers, and you will have to use that whenever the last boss does its AoE. I'll show you when to use your tranquilizer. Also, bring some HP pills. You need to have some of the best HP pills that will uh, 
help top you off so that you might be able to take another one of those AOE. Those AOEs are undodgeable. It covers the whole screen. The last boss has undodgeable AOEs, so be sure to buy some tranquilizers for this Mirage Dungeon. Alright, so this first boss really still isn't very difficult. You just gotta make sure you don't stand in the red circle, the red triangle and uh it, it it goes down pretty quick also dodge the blue balls that shoots at you also you just have to uh do enough damage so once you have two clerics you aren't going to do very much damage very quickly if you're dps you might want to buy some chi pills buy some pills that will re-give yourself extra chi that might help so that you can finish the dungeon. Finishing a dungeon really isn't the biggest deal. The, the biggest deal is the ability to stay alive once the last boss hits 40% HP and enrages. So you might want to do go into your gear and uh, optimize your gear for HP. Make sure that you have enough hp go in put on your amber soul stones take your pvp soul stones off put on more amber soul stones so that you can have more hp this is uh hp you can use uh golden poppies you can use golden poppies you can use those uh, cooking materials that can actually help you give you more vitality also giving you more HP. Now you are at, you are hearing me telling you to get tranquilizers, get cheap pills and stuff. And these things aren't very aren't they aren't very cheap. You do have to buy these in order to do some of the higher levels of mirage. But if you don't want to, you can still do floor eleven. Floor eleven still gets you the same rewards. It's just have a smaller chance of getting the best rewards you can get in uh, in a mirage, which would be you can get some really nice uh, sacred books. You can get like level three sacred books. Uh, you can get some nice essence scales. They're worth a lot. You can get ancient skill scrolls. Uh, sometimes you can get two or three ancient skill scrolls. It is. It is really really good and also I think I average out at least a mil every week so sometimes you get 500 K sometimes you get 1.5 mil but very seldom do you get nothing and usually you get it back the next week so be sure to do Mirage if you don't do Mirage that is why you are falling behind if, if you see your friends getting ahead it's because of that 1 million gold that that you're missing uh, every week by not doing Mirage. Alright, so here we are at the last boss. The last boss, he has two forms. His first form isn't that scary. It is his second form when he turns into a dog. He turns into a dog whenever his dog form jumps up. It actually... You, that's when that's when you know when he when his dog form jumps up that's when you need to use your chi bursts to block some of that damage it does it does do it in three waves either use chi burst or you can use a tranquilizer however tranquilizers and chi burst both have cooldowns so after about two after about two or three waves, those waves start hitting pretty hard because you may not have any damage reduction. His first form is pretty straightforward. You just have to dodge his, you know, that's red AOE on the ground. You have to dodge his, he does, he summons some coffins from the ground. You also see red circles, just dodge those. And uh, once he gets to 40% health, he does do a little bit more damage. You might want to use Tortoise to block some of that damage. And 
And once he gets down to 20%, he transforms his HP bar, goes all the way up, and this is his final form. And the screams of wrath, you see how everyone's HP went down except for Death and Jay Gabriel. Death and Jay Gabriel actually, they did actually use a spark or a tranquilizer. Now, this first try, my healers, they decided to use, use the blue ball, the rejuvenation, to try to block some damage. And that, that doesn't work too well. That, that, that doesn't work, work too well. It does decrease... Well, they, dis, uh, they, they didn't coordinate correctly. Now they're both. They had both used their BBs at the same time, so... Probably on the next run, their BBs will be down, their blue balls, their rejuvenation will be down. They won't be able to heal. Yeah, this last hit, you see the boss is totally red. He's he's at 40% HP. And at 40% HP, if you have less than if you have less than 87k, less than 90k HP. You may get just one shot when he turns red. This is floor 15, Mirage. And if you do floor 11, it'll be it'll be a lot easier. He won't do as much damage. So you can try a lower level if you wanted to. Now I wanted to see if I could kill him. However, what we're going to do is I'm just going to die and we are going to go at it again this time I have a little different strategy we just didn't have enough DPS I don't think we didn't have enough DPS you have to take him down quickly take him down quickly and also the healers I, I don't think Rejuvenation is good. However, a, a good spark, a good chi burst, will allow you to heal more. Okay, so if you have a if you chi burst and then you just start spamming your heals, go ahead and do your strong, strong heals, single target heals. You can probably save some of your DPS. You probably don't even have to save all of your DPS. Just save two so that you will be able to finish the boss okay so you probably you know you should experiment you should experiment i i think that having chi burst will prevent you yourself from getting damaged and that that's really good and also allow you to have 20 percent more more healing power so you can heal your heal your damage dealers it's also very good if your damage dealers have if your damage dealers have a goblin so that they don't die. When you're making your team, do be sure to put at least one archer on your team because they have some of the best single target DPS plus one of their skills removes the HP. So when the boss shows up and you and and he uses that skill, it already the boss automatically has like 10 to 15 percent less hp that will help you kill the boss before its aoe's kill you all right so i figured that since i could actually tank him pretty well even without a healer what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to deal some extra damage and turn into my human form so we're going to switch into a human form and what you can do now is you can use spark. You can you can use your chi burst to block some damage if you're taking some damage. You can use a tranquilizer if you're taking some damage. And after you do damage, you have to turn back to your tiger form. So that you can taunt the boss again. This way you don't lose aggro. So you do have only a certain amount of time before you have to change back to your tiger form so that you don't lose aggro the boss is now hot red and the next time he does his aoe will probably be his last 
even the healers aren't able to heal themselves to full. Oh, well, they heal themselves to full. Good job. Well, I mean, even with full HP, his last AoE still wiped the team, except for me and Gold. Gold also is 500k CP. So if you have like 390k, 380k, you probably don't have enough HP for the for this fight to last too long. I opened up my chest, I got a few level 3 sacred books, so this time wasn't wasn't the best, but I'll probably get a lot better next week. So good luck everyone, hope you guys do Mirage well, if this video helped you, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and comment below. I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching.